Well, hello everyone. How are y'all doing in the day? Now we're talking to my lovely, you know, fire signs. Okay, let's talk. Now fire signs, bear with me. Now fire signs, we have for you, baby. You are good enough under the full moon of Virgo. So you got to believe you are good enough under this full moon, okay? Also, you are the high priestess, this person that's good enough. But got to believe they're good enough, Aries. That's one thing. We're on fire signs, and you got to believe you're good enough. And this is what um, Ace of Swords, this is letting you know I'm not bullcrapping. You got to start believing you are good enough to get what you're wanting to get, Aries. Okay, let's keep going because they're giving you strength. And they says they're, um, this is a queen of swords, I mean a queen of wands here, that they're talking about that's the death of this situation with it. And it will be justice for this person, this queen of cups. Now, this queen of cups is going to get a tower of their life. So the tower is the king of wands, excuse my dog out. Hush, Skylar. You know, the king of wands here. Basically, it's going to be getting in a, uh, it's a chariot be going. There is a hangman position that someone was put in. But the angels put in the page of swords have come. This um, king of pinnacles, someone that I statured, is wanting a happy family, right? But this, there's lovers here. There's somebody else, another lover. They're building. This person is building something. The three of wands is looking abroad, though. They're all in their head about this situation. Somebody's using little bitch, you know. The emperor is all in their head about something. And the moon is going to give you the answers. It's going to come to light. The wheel of fortune is going to turn. So you're going to get the opportunity, the three of coins, to go to into teamwork or maybe work into collaborate or into a situation where you're moving. You're going to have to move away for this. The hair fence here. There's someone of um that's standing ground wants the four of wands here, wants marriage and wants three of cups, wants to celebrate the luxuries. But they gotta move. You got all these people fighting over you, the five of wands. There's people fighting, but there's gonna be at the end of it, it's gonna be ace of cups. It's gonna all be resolved. It's just a little bit they like playing. So Leo. Confidence is the key to your success. Now man, this the whole that you need. That's this King of Swords. Somebody's dealing with a King of Swords and you need confidence to deal with this person. Okay? Is what they're telling me. It says because see, and it's going to be the death of four of the Swords. It could be something the death of something. It might be the death of a situation with this situation. Unwilling to make the necessary effort. They're procrastinating. They're not making sacrifices to get what they want, this Leo. So, you know, they be doing stuff and disputing over a woman, you know, and mis and mistakes, you know, over this woman that was made concerning this nine of coins. Somebody was told somebody they made some bad decisions over this person. So they had shattered environment and caution. This person likes to get out their foresight. They see a, they can accomplish in discernment. They are so, um, they can see far what they want. But you sideways because you're not seeing the six of coins. You won't give and take. This person can, can sometimes be sideways to that. They don't like to give and to share. Now Sagittarius, you nothing will come of a situation if you avoid the coarse moon. There's something with a uh, um, a knight of swords here. There's something that happens with a knight of swords here, okay? Under this cord, under this um, void cord moon. So the knight of swords is something. This person dashes out on the star. They're let they're let down. Bad luck. They feel unfulfilled hope. Lack of opportunities making them feel that they can't, they're not going to do, so they go onto unknown territories, and there's dangers out there, there's pages of swords, they dash out to unknown territories, there's a lover in reverse that's, that failure to meet the test, separation, frustration by others, frickleness, unwise plans, see someone is making some unwise plans here with this, the lover in reverse, okay, and um, let's get, let's see, what's the unwise plans that they're making with this lover here? 
What's the unwise plans that the love will want you to do? What's the unwise plans that the love will want you to do? What's the unwise plans? What's the unwise plan that this lover wants you to commit to? And that's to not be the chaser. They want you to be fear of abandonment and chasing and codependencies. See, somebody don't want to be the chaser. You know, because it's in reverse. This person don't want to be uh, chasing after people, falling after people because of just, uh, just because they don't. So what's the deal? What's going to happen in this relationship with this Knight of Swords? What's destined to happen in, with this Knight of Swords that you're dealing with? Um, or is this you in love exploring kisses? This person is unconditional love, giving, receiving, fairness, love, and affection. And it will be returned by this Knight of Swords. They will return love to you that you give to them. Now, this King of Swords over here other hand, they are sudden change. It's going to be shocking news. Um, something surprising is going to be happening with this king of um, swords. Something's surprising. What's the surprising, shocking news that's going to happen with this king of swords if you stay with this is old school, outdated thinking. Somebody's got old school, outdated thinking. And they over in their head. They need to get over it. This this Leo has outdated thinking. And so that's what gets this, this Knight of Swords. See, that's what gets this person in trouble. They have outdated thinking. This, so they're healing. Heartbreak. See, that's when toxicities. See, that's what's wrong with this person. Abusive relationship. Someone is abusive. This Leo. They're healing from abusive relationship in the past. That this Leo is hitting from. So that makes them act the way they do. And feel the way they do. And um, that's what's giving them. They're trying to heal from that. You know. Abusive relationship. And they're. they're, they're you know. There's a camera. You're learning from the past. And making memories with a person. You want to learn from the past. You don't. This person don't want to relive the past. That they got away from. Because that doesn't make sense to go back to the past. It wasn't no good to you. So, let's get some advice here. And um, let's see if I got it out. I There we go. From the ancestors and angels. Can we give some advice to this situation? What's the advice? What's the advice that you want to give Aries, Leo, Sagittarius? What's the advice you would like to give Aries, Leo, Sagittarius? Okay. Medicine Garden. Be open to healing information. So you need to be open to healing information. To see beyond the current situation. You got to be open to see beyond the... You know, they want you to be open to see beyond the situations that you're going through. Let me get you one more. One more, please, of advice. You need to be open because you a seer. Somebody's a seer. In other words, they might do cards, tell the future, but they need to be open to what they're seeing, too. You know what I'm saying? So, the guardian angel, you are not alone. Never believe you're alone because that's not true. You go to sleep with somebody, you wake up with social security. <laughs> you are never alone because your angels just got their eyes on you. See that eye in between? They got their eyes on you. <laughs> they ain't going to never get off of that. <laughs> Thank you.